Dear students, welcome to my channel HSC English Version BD. In this tutorial, we will learn Bohr's atomic model and postulates in detail. Bohr was a student of Rutherford. Actually, Bohr wanted to rectify the defects of Rutherford's atomic model for a hydrogen atom, which is known as Bohr's atomic model or Rutherford Bohr's atomic model. We should be kept in our mind that Bohr's model is based on Planck's quantum theory. The first postulate of Bohr's atomic model is the electron in the hydrogen atom revolves around the nucleus only in certain selected circular orbits. Each orbit has a fixed energy and a quantum number is assigned to it. Look at this word circular orbits. See, these are the circular paths around this nucleus. There are different different names of these circular paths, orbit or energy level or stationary state. Bohr assigned to a quantum number for each orbit, which is called principal quantum number. Principal quantum number is denoted as small n. For first orbit, the value of n equals 1. For second orbit, the value of n equals 2. For third orbit, the value of n equals 3. Similarly, for fourth orbit, the value of n equals 4. For fifth orbit, the value of n equals 5. And so on, up to infinity. Now, Look at this word fixed energy. See, for this hydrogen atom, the energy of this first orbit is E1. E1 equals minus 1313.315 kilojoule per mole. This energy is fixed. The energy of this second orbit is called E2. E2 equals minus 328.32 kilojoule per mole. This energy is also fixed. The energy of this third orbit is called E3. E3 equals minus 145.92 kilojoule per mole. This energy is also fixed. Similarly, fourth orbit, fifth orbit, all orbit is associated with fixed energy. Distance of each orbit from nucleus, that is radius of orbit, is also fixed. The radius of first orbit R1 equals 0.529 angstrom. The radius of second orbit R2 equals 2.11 angstrom. The radius of third orbit R3 equals 4.75 angstrom. So, from the discussion we have got each orbit is assigned to quantum numbers that is principal quantum number and principal quantum number is fixed. Each orbit has fixed energy and distance of each orbit from nucleus is fixed. This fixed, this fixed and this fixed all together indicate one word and the word is quantized. That means electron revolves in quantized orbits outside nucleus. The second postulate of Bohr's atomic model is when an electron revolves in any selected orbits, it neither emits nor absorbs energy. The energy of an electron in a particular orbit is constant or fixed. Energy emits or absorbs when electron jumps from one orbit to another. See, Electron is revolving in this first orbit. For this revolving electron, this orbit is fixed. According to Rutherford's atomic model, we know that while electron revolves, it continuously radiates energy. Bohr rectified this concept. He said that when an electron revolves in a selected orbit, it neither emits nor absorbs energy. Emitting of energy or 
absorbing of energy will only occur when electron jumps from one orbit to another like this or like this the third postulate of bohr atomic model is when an electron jumps the energy changes delta e is given by planck's equation delta e equals h nu what is delta e delta e is nothing but the energy difference between two orbits having energies e1 and e2 so we can write from here delta e equals e2 minus e1 equals h nu from this equation we will be able to find out how much energy is absorbed or how much energy is emitted the difference of energy of these two orbits in hydrogen atom that is delta e is equals 985 kilojoule per mole c energy is providing to this atom with these photon energy from outside the value of this photon energy is 1000 kilojoule per mole on the other hand the value of this photon energy is 985 kilojoule per mole between these two different values of energy do you know which energy this electron will absorb actually this electron will absorb only this 985 kilojoule per mole energy not more than this or not less than this because this energy is the value of delta e which is fixed for this hydrogen atom after absorbing this energy this electron will jump from this lower energy to this higher energy similarly when this jumped electron will release this energy then it will return back to the lower orbit do remember when electron stays in the first orbit then the state of hydrogen atom is called ground state and ground state is stable when electron jumps from lower orbit to higher orbit then the state of hydrogen atom is called excited state and excited state is unstable the fourth postulate of bohr atomic model is electron can revolve in only those orbit having fixed angular momentum mvr mv is linear momentum and mvr is angular momentum when electron moves in a circle then it is called angular momentum the value of mvr is nh over 2 pi mvr depends upon this n what is the n this n is principal quantum number 1 2 3 4 up to infinity for each orbit quantum number is fixed again mvr depends upon this h over 2 pi here h is planck's constant the value of planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and the value of pi is 3.1416 that means this h and this pi is constant therefore we can say that angular momentum is quantized thanks a lot for watching this tutorial